Hello guys, welcome back to the platformer tutorial series. In this one, we are going to create spikes for our game. Um, so this is fairly simple. Um, I am quickly going to show you an example of what we are going to do. So, just going to get into my, what is it called, demo. And click play. Uh, here we are in our scene with health and some spikes. So when we jump on these spikes, we will get damage, damaged and lose some health and get knocked back. So as you can see, we bounce up and there's a red flash when we lose our health. So that is what we're going to do today. So I'm just quickly going to exit out and go into our project and delete the things that I did before. Um, there we go. And we are going to import our files. So tutorial files and the spikes file. I'm going to put this in the description so you can download it. So drag it into our project and into the graphics folder so just a second going to find something so yeah um now we are going to set up the sprite for our spikes so for the pixels per unit it is going to be the same as our knife guy um so we're going to click on the sprite for our guy right here and see the pixels per unit it's 18 um, so the reason why it's going to be the same is because if it didn't the pixel the individual pixel size wouldn't be the same and that would be would look a little bit weird so set the pixels per unit to 18 and sprite mode to single because there isn't more than one sprite in this this is just a single sprite image uh, set the filter mode to point and format to true color and click apply so here I have our spikes so drag this into the scene and as you can see we got a spike so what we're going to do is um, create three spikes that is on the ground right here so I'm going to create a empty game object and call this spike parent then we're going to set the spikes uh, what is it called sprite under the uh, spikes parent so now we are going to duplicate this sprite and place them uh, this looks fine I guess yeah it's fine um, yeah um so now we're going to create a new empty game object so right click create empty and then we're going to add a component and that is going to be search for collider and box collider so this is going to be a collider for all these uh, spikes so um, I'm just going to rename this to spike trigger I guess um, so just scale it so it covers the spikes there we go that looks fine so now we're going to say is trigger so click on that so uh, what this does is it basically does so the player can't really collide with it it just uh, triggers some functions when it touches it so we can do the knockback manually instead of it should be instead of it uh, stands on the spikes um, so yeah now we are going to do our scripts for these spikes so go over to our scripts folder 
and right click and click create and then click C sharp script let's call this spikes there we go open it there we go um, so yeah what we're going to do now is create a variable for this script and remove the functions um, so we're going to say private player player so we can access the player health and functions so um, first off we're going to create the start method or function I mean so void start start is getting called when we initialize the game so we're going to set the player variable right here equals to the player script right so player is equals to game object game object with capital capital G and then we're going to say find game object with tag and then it's going to be the player tag and then we're going to say dot uh, get component player so what we're getting here is the player script from the game object which has the tag player so that is pretty simple um, so now we are going to do the void on trigger enter 2d and then we are going to say collider 2d call there we go so this is going to be called when the when a collider enters the trigger so yeah we're going to check if the collider that enters the trigger has the tag player so when something with the tag player collides with the spikes we are going to um, reduce the health of the player so the way we are going to do that is by opening our player script first of all we have to create a function that allows us to make the player take damage so we are basically going to create a function that we can call from any script which has the reference to the player and then we can take uh, reduce the health of the player by calling that function so in the player script we're going to say public void damage and that is going to take an int dmg a short for damage and do the brackets so what we're doing here is creating a simple function that takes an int which is damage I'm going to explain why we're doing this and when it is public we can access it from other scripts so if it isn't public we can't see it when we for example say player dot damage you can see we can see this and if it for example didn't have this we couldn't see it so yeah uh, the reason why we say damage is when we call this function we can input a damage so for example 3 then the variable we created here is 3 when we call it so we can for example say current health minus equals dmg right that is simple so we're going to reduce the health by this variable which we're setting when we're calling it here play at the damage is and then we're setting the damage to three so yeah actually we just did the thing that we have to do there so um we are when we when the player enters the trigger of the spikes we are going to damage it with three damage and in here in the damage function we are reducing the current health of the player by the damage int 
that we are setting when we call the function. So yeah, now we are going to test it and see if it works. Um, I forgot to add the script, so remember that guys. Spike trigger and drag the spike script here. And now when we jump on the spikes, we should lose some health. There we go. And there wasn't any knockback. Now when we jump on it again, we are going to restart because our health is zero. And we did in the code when our health is zero, we're going to restart. So yeah, that was the basic tutorial for the spike damage and the spike sprites. Um, in the next one, we are going to do knockback. So when we jump on the spikes, we're going to get knocked back. So we can just tick those and see you in the next episode. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't and like, dislike, share and thank you for watching guys. See you later.